Over the past few years I've used many different types of backpack sprayers. They come in different forms such as the small 5 litre ones, the manual pumped 16 litre ones and ones like this which is a battery powered sprayer. In this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Flowzone Cyclone battery powered sprayer which has been sent to me for review by gardenimports.co.uk. I'm going to be unpacking it showing you everything in the box and I'll run a couple of spray samples across the lawn just to give you an idea of how it operates. So the sprayer itself is quoted with three main key features. It's got a variable pressure nozzle which can go anywhere between 8 to 60 psi and that's adjusted by a dial on the side of the backpack sprayer. I'll show you that in a bit. It also comes with some very comfy wearable straps and of course is powered by a lithium ion battery which quotes 2.5 hours of continuous spraying time. Unpacking the machine out the box, it comes in quite a simple construction. First up, you've got the handle, and the key feature I like about this is you've got the brass fittings on both ends. Now, there's a little bit of weight in this fitting, and you can tell that it feels quite robust, and these fittings are definitely going to improve the lifespan of the machine. You can see here the lance is also made from metal and fits nicely into the handle just by pulling the sheath back and letting it click in. Next up with the unit, you've got this cable which actually delivers the material from your sprayer down to the lance. And this is actually UV resistant and you can tell it feels really nice quality. It just threads onto the bottom of the unit by a screw thread and it's all sealed up by a washer. At the front of the unit, there is a battery pack now the battery comes separately and you can remove it ready for charging. The quoted runtime of the machine is 2.5 hours of continuous charging and if you'd like to see me do some tests on that in the future, please leave me a comment down in the description below. Next up we've got the comfort strap system that attaches to the sprayer and that you can wear like a backpack. You can see here it's really nice and padded and it clicks onto the front of the unit using some uh, almost carabiner type of clips and the straps at the top. Next up is the battery charger and the battery is quite small and lightweight and it also comes with a indicator at the back which I quite like so you can see how much charge it's got left. In terms of charging the battery this one came with a UK 3 pin plug the charger goes directly into the battery itself, on the top, and off you go. In terms of the size of the unit, to give you some perspective, I'm around 6 foot 1 and it sits nicely on the back and the straps are really easy to adjust and it's actually quite comfy. So I'm getting ready to spray the lawn and I can just click the battery into the front and seal it with that little clip. Let's take a look what's inside the unit and get the final pressure nozzle set up ready for use. So when you open up the unit itself, it comes with a little holster connections on the side and I quite like that feature so you can actually dock the lance into the side of the unit which is great for storage or when you're not using it. The unit comes with a number of different nozzles which come straight out the pack and starting from the right hand side the first one is a zero pin stream nozzle which is almost like a very fine fan jet. The next up is their variable nozzle and this is a nozzle that you just twist the nil connection on the end and you can go from a straight jet of water down to more of a finer mist. One of the features I really liked about it was it comes with this adapter kit and with these adapters you can actually include any of the standard spraying type of nozzles that you might already have. So you can see here this has got a fan nozzle in but it'll also fit a deflector nozzle or any other type of standard nozzle that you can buy off the shelf. Last up it also comes with a 25 degree fan nozzle which is the metal connector coming straight out of the box. To start with, I'm just going to fill the unit up with water just so I can get used to it and show you a couple of demo applications across the lawn. But you can use this unit with all of your typical liquid products like seaweed, liquid iron, uh, fertilizers and insecticides and fungicides just as you normally would with any other backpack sprayer.
So after filling the unit up with a couple of litres of water, you can see the markings are really quite easy to read and they've got almost these raised notches on the side of the unit, which makes the water level really easy to read off and to calibrate it and set your unit up correctly. I think I'm going to start with the variable nozzle first, just because I quite like the idea of seeing how far the unit can go on its maximum and minimum settings. So I'm going to start by opening up this variable nozzle in the end to its maximum setting and see how far that it can spray water across the lawn. On the side of the unit there's an adjustment nozzle which goes up in different settings where you can regulate the pressure of the unit and how much power it's using. So with the unit at full pressure and the nozzle fully open you can see I'm firing water right the way over to the other end of the garden. This is probably somewhere between 10 to 15 meters and it's easily covering that sort of distance. Next up, I'm gonna turn the lance to a mist setting and see how that looks. You can see here it's spraying out a really fine mist and that's with the lance fully closed. I would say this unit is targeted at lawn care enthusiasts, people with a larger surface area to cover and even into the professional markets. If you're interested in finding more information about this unit, there's a link in the description below. I'm hoping to make loads of follow-on videos about some practical applications around this sprayer. So if there's any features of it that you would like to see tested or some features that you think I've missed out, leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'd love to do a follow-up video to answer all the questions that you might have. You can see here on my lawn, the machine's just made absolutely light work of this and I've breezed through it in a matter of minutes. If you've got bigger areas to cover, this thing will be definitely on the top of anyone's consideration list and it really saves you a bit of manual work, it's convenient, well made and whilst a machine like this is clearly going to be more expensive than some of the manual units, I've been super impressed at the build quality and the performance over this short sample and I can't wait to make some more follow up videos to see what it can really do over the long term. You can see just from covering my small area, we're still at three bars of battery, which is where I started off. And I'd like to do a full runtime test on this machine at some point in the future too. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more regular lawn care tips and equipment reviews. Thanks for watching. It's Matt the Garden Lawn Care Guy, and I hope to see you in the next video.